Hi Scorpio and welcome to your monthly tarot reading. I'm Katie, I'm a professional intuitive tarot card reader. If you do need a personal reading with me, then you can book me at my website, which is katietarot.com. So this is for the month of October. So Scorpio, I have pulled an oracle card for you and it is Destiny. And this is associated with your crown chakra. And it's as it says, destiny, you are following your destiny this month. So is that work for you or it could be love, true love? You are, it's a positive omen. You could, be, you could have deep satisfaction. And there's also an ability to change with this card as well. So you have that flexibility. So if you're not following your path at the moment, then you may get a divine inspiration this month to help you figure out where you want to go from here. So you are on the right path. So I'll just pop that to the side for the moment and we'll take a look at these cards and see what they have to say. For a more well-rounded reading for the month you might want to look at your moon sign and your rising sign as well as your sun sign Scorpio where are you right now let's have a look we have the four of wands Okay, so you're feeling pretty good about things. This area of your life may be related to work um, or some kind of passion or adventure that you're about to embark upon. It's also a four. So this is a foundation card. You have a strong foundation. So it could be a commitment from someone or you're going to commit to someone, a relationship, for example, or you could be starting out in a job or you might be getting a promotion that you're really enthusiastic about and that's related to your life purpose or your destiny you're meant to be doing it or you're meant to be um, getting engaged to this person or uh, going on this trip or whatever it is for you you're you know that that's what you're meant to be doing and there is a sense of excitement and um, looking forward to this month you could also be organizing an event or some kind of celebration or group get together as well. So this is your mm, focus. It's where you're at right now. Let's have a look at your foundation card, which is the emperor. So you are coming from a very strong place of um, being in yourself. So a strong sense of your own purpose and your own sense of your life where it's headed in this area it could just be as simple as organizing a party and you're really sure of that and you're the one who's in control of that and you're the one who's in charge of organizing it all so it could be something um very small however it could be something larger and grander a grander scale as well so you need to place this energy in your life it is a general reading so you have to it's not going to be the same for everybody. You have to place the energy. Um, but there is a sense here of it being very secure. And there's even a um, parental energy coming in here as well. So you may be involved with your family um, or associates that are higher rank than you in your work. Um, and you'll be getting on quite well with them. So you might be getting a promotion to be at the same level as, as them or something along those lines as well. Let's have a look at your immediate past. We have the Ace of Swords. So you have come into this idea of what you're doing now through divine intervention, through something that an idea that has come from spirit. And I feel that's where this card destiny comes in for you because whatever this inspiration was, it was from the divine. It was from source. And whether you recognize this in yourself or not, that's that's how it is. And I do feel that most of you are aware of that, though. You may have been doing some meditation or prayer or going about contacting spirit in your own way to get this advice 
or it could have come randomly to you. You may have been just going about your business and then bang, you got this inspiration and you have known that it's come from outside of yourself um, and it's come through. So that's that's happened in the past here for this um, thing that you are pursuing now. And let's have a look at your conscious mind and where you're at with your thinking about things. And we've got the Ten of Wands. So you may be feeling like this is coming to the end of something. You're coming to the end of um, a duration, a time period, and you're about to start something new. Or this could be you've just got so many things going on that you need to narrow down your focus and just focus on one or two things to get this accomplished. Because you might have so many different projects on the go or so many different things you need to do during the day that you're not able to um, center yourself and ground yourself enough to really get the core of what needs to be done finished. So... You do have a lot of things going on in your mind and in the real world every um, on a day to day level, like every day that could be impacting um, this energy coming in of celebration or um, foundations of some kind. You're trying to build something here and you might be feeling overburdened by by circumstances and things that you need to do in the real world. Or you may be coming up against, I'm feeling for some of you, other people might be involved and they might not be as um, they might not be as a courteous to you as they ha- that you as you would like, you know that they, they, there's kind of a bit of conflict energy coming through that I'm feeling right now. So you might be having to deal with other people's rubbish and not just on a like a mundane level like um, conflicts at work even though that could be the case I'm also feeling more of a a psychic attack as well on you so protect yourself with um, yeah protect your energy boundaries as well because when you when people sense that you're doing well or you have a goal then um You often attract people that want to take away from you and that could be the burden that's on you. And that was the energy I was feeling. Let's have a look at the immediate future, which is the Queen of Swords. Exactly what I was feeling. You need to cut those ties. You need to cut those energy um, attachments that you have that no longer serve you that need to go because they are overburdening you and you don't need them anymore. And you could be aware of it. I feel most of you are aware of it. There's also good communication coming up over the next few weeks. So whatever area of life this is for you, you'll have an open communication with the people that you need to. You'll be in integrity and you'll be showing your truth to the world or you'll be, t- you'll be talking to people about your truth in the world. And let's have a look at the advice card for you and the two of pentacles. So I'm feeling there may be two people that um, are particularly negative for you right now and are slowing down your progress and trying to cause this wonderful foundation that you have to be rocked and you're trying to rock your boat a bit. So there's two people in your life that may um, you may need to have some serious communication with and cut them energetically off as well as um, tell them how you feel with um, with talking to them. So there's that coming in for some of you. And for others, I feel it is going to be a material thing, like a money thing or a um, just a real manifest thing. Um, your family, maybe a house. And you are looking at, say, buying a house, but you are have different options you're kind of juggling a lot of things and you're not sure which house you you should go for because two are really awesome and you're not you just can't decide so this is where um communication and getting through to people that you need to like the agent and really talking about the house or getting other people in that know um about the foundations of the house so they can really check that out so this is the kind of energy 
So the advice card is really saying, look out for two people in particular that could be causing you some uh, worries this month. And also know that that it's all going to come together, even though it feels like you are balancing at the moment these different things that are going on. Know that it's all going to kind of narrow down and you will be able to um, make it all work. So whatever you've got going on or these different things you need to do during the day or whatever it is, it will be okay and by the end of the month you would have sorted through it. So that is a reading for the month. If you like the reading then please subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye for now.